and on the Asia road racing track. And here on this circuit, which is just over five kilometers, 16 corners, two long straights, it seems like Fazli is bringing his domestic form right onto the international stage. Yeah, I mean, you can see those, uh, the, the teams have uh, improved a lot since uh, the last three races and uh, definitely they have found something in uh, their bikes, their machine and uh, the setup of the machine is perfect for the teams. I think they are doing very well at the moment. The underbone 130, it'll be seven laps of the track. The guys are just about to go on to their warm-up lap. Ahmed Fazli Shan is in the middle of the front row of the grid. Alongside him, though, on pole position, Wayu Aji uh, Chilaksana, the Indonesian, 24 years of age. Now, Indonesia has got a proud record for the last six seasons at Underbone. They have been champion. Wayu Aji would like that to continue. Yeah, definitely. I think this is the last year for the 130. I think uh, definitely Wayu Aji definitely want, wants to win this race uh, very badly, and uh, definitely he will go all out, you know, try to win the race. But he's got some real opposition alongside him on the front row of the grid. Ahmed Fazli Sham, yesterday's winner, the championship leader, Amrul Arif Musa, the 26-year-old from Malaysia, also on the front row of the grid. Teenager Hazik Farouz, nor is Ishmael, who's certainly not a teenager, and Shah Carroll on the second row, is at Zaidi, Florianus and Nazrul Izat on the third row. On the fourth, Helmi Azman, who's had one win to his name this season. Adi Brosley, the 22-year-old Fariz uh, Afiez. Shaifal Izam, uh, Sassi uh, uh, Sukumaran, and Cal Vietnam from Vietnam complete the 15 starters. Race number eight of the season for the Underbone 130cc. We are indeed up and running. Everybody away safely. Wayu Aji Chilaksana in the green coverage and the red helmet into actually what is quite a comfortable lean. Nor is Ishmael, back number 19. He's got himself up from fifth to third into the first corner. Yeah, you can see Norisman actually, he's a, a very senior rider in this uh, Asia race. And uh, you, you don't count him up too, he, he's very good at the spot rider also. Why are you going very, very wide there on the first corner? It uh, doesn't matter as much in these early stages, you're just trying to, to get used to it. The conditions are a little bit more overcast today, it's still very hot and muggy out there, but there is a little bit of cloud cover. Yeah, a little bit of cloud outside, and uh, when outside, just like it's uh, still a bit cooling than uh, yesterday's uh, race, so I think the, the setting of the bike for today de definitely will be a bit different. Just making a, a little move there. Bike number 93, Nazarul Izat, the 16-year-old. He's uh, currently in fourth place. You can see the main grandstand as they come at the tail end of the long straight and swoop down the dipper. And then swoop back up into a, a lovely long left-hand corner. I think you can see uh, Hazik in front at the moment. And he's uh, trying to pull away a bit. And uh, he had a small gap there. I'm sure that gap will be eaten up pretty quickly. Wayu Aji still currently in third place. Keeping an eye on him. Ahmed Fazli Sham is also a man we want to look out for. He's currently in third. Yeah, you can see this corner, they have a few different lines to go in. Fazli get into the smaller, smaller line, even bigger, wider lines. You know, they have three or four lines there. The markings on the track, there is a, a Formula One circuit here at, for, the, for the cars and the bikes. They take a, a slightly shorter circuit, but it's still best part of five kilometers for the bikes. Yeah, they because, because the track is uh, wide, then uh, definitely all, all these underbone bikes, uh, they, they can take a few different lines compared to, I mean, like the bigger bikes, bigger CC. Now they're pulling up in towards the final part of the end of the first lap. And it's quite a substantial lead, Wayu Aji isn't too far away in second place but as they come to what will be the finish line for the first time just going over it now it's Hazik Farus leading Wayu Aji, Nazarul Izat, Ahmed Fazli Sham, Norizman Ishmael and Sassi Tiran completing the top six but less than 2.5 seconds separating one from ten I think, I think 12 of them in between uh, uh, yeah two seconds Still Hazik leading the way. 15-year-old Hazik shows uh, obviously a great amount of promise and being able to compete on international circuits. What an experience for, play, uh, for, for riders like this. Yeah, I mean, like, he still learned a lot of things to learn from all the seniors here. He's, I think he's one of the youngest 
rider and in this uh, group. Indeed, he is at the age of 15, but he's just been overtaken there by Wayo Aji Chilaksana. The Indonesian is currently in third place in the overall standings. Is at Zaidi. We haven't really mentioned is at Zaidi. Bike number 98. He's also in the uh, championship contention. He's second overall. At the moment, Wayo Aji leading the way. Close to him, Nazrul Izat Mahama Baharudin. Oh, I think that is uh, Helmi, I think. Helmi Asman. Helmi Asman, who had a, a victory at the last round that Underbones competed in at Central. I don't think he's going to be competing for victory here today. Engine problems has he back into the lead. Ahmed Fazli Sham also in that little group as is Nazrul Izat. You were saying before there was a, a potential confrontation between him and Fazli Shang because there was a coming together just as we go into the, the pits to see um, the demise, as you say, of uh, Helmi Asman. So the why you are you at Fazli Sham? You, you you said there might have been a little bit of tension yeah yeah I think because of uh, yesterday an incident where why you are you uh, hit the rear of uh, Fasli Sham, you know, because I think I was talking to Fasli, he told me that uh, he misses the gear and uh, from third to fourth, that's why the bike slowed down a bit. Fasli Sham currently with the fastest lap so far as they come through at the tail of lap number two. It is Wai Waji who's leading the way in Indonesia. Ahead of Nazrul is at Fasli third. Hazik still in there, Florianus and Norisman still holding on again. Barely a second separating one from six. And barely another two seconds separating us down to number 10, who is Sassi Tiran Sukumaran. Now the lap times are beginning to heat up a little bit. 227.991, the fastest for Wayu Aji. For Adib, 227.948. Yeah, compared to the uh, qualifying time, I think this is getting faster and faster because of the weather there's different setting on the bikes you know and the bike definitely got more horsepower plus they've had an extra couple of days on the track so they know what's going on yes a little bit and more. Uh, different line you can take uh, any any a lot of comp different lines but this is an f1 track so definitely you can get a few racing lines into it long straight there and why Waji hunkers down over the handlebars and he's got himself quite a nice little lead there you saw norris manish male currently in fifth just Having a little peek around the corner, bike number 19. Nazrul Izat in that little group. So why you Aji, this is unusual to see somebody try to actually extend the lead this early in the race. Yeah, I mean, he, he's trying, you can see he's really trying to, to get away from the group, but uh, I think definitely the, the, the boys behind will get back to him. Lasley Sham in the group, as is Nazrul Izat, as is Florianus in the... Again, the distinctive red and green. Ahmed Fazli currently fourth. Nazrul Izat in that little group. Norisman keep waiting for Norisman Ishmael to, to make some kind of a statement. He normally does in every underbone race, the number 19. Yeah, actually number 19 is like our, uh, the shadow, you know, he's like a shadow too on, the, on this underbone race. He's a very cool rider, you know. Waiwaji still holding off. He's come under pressure. That lead that he did have, which got up to the best part of half a second, has evaporated effectively. But the front two are beginning to pull away. Nazrul is at Ahmed Fazli Sham, also chasing. And now at the tail of lap number three, put in the halfway mark. Waiwaji, Fazli Sham right on his back wheel. Florianus and Hazik and Norris Man Ishmael and Nazrul Izat has actually dropped down a little bit. So, Waiwaji fastest, Ahmed Fazli Sham second fastest, and 1 2 on the track. Yeah, I mean, like you can see uh, Fazli time now is uh, doing a 2 minute 27 flat. So, definitely, is, they are really going uh, to do uh, the fastest time again and uh, the next lap. You say 227 flat, fastest time. You can, see, you, can see why, you can see why you, you know, waving uh, as fastly to go, go past him and uh, definitely he will try to 
make his plan, do his plan how to, you know, for the last lap race again. Well, Fazli, listen to what Waiwaji had to say. He's had a, a look on the inside. There's a, the hand signal. There yeah. you go. Yeah, he asked her Fazli to pass him and, you know, he's now planning to to plan a, a, a race on the last lap again, like I say every time. Well, it was just a temporary one. Is there a little bit of psychology in there saying, listen, I'm telling you to come past, but even if you do, I've got the ability to go straight back in yes, front of you. Yes, definitely, because underbone bikes are, you know, so close that a little bit of horsepower, a little bit of uh, slip streaming, you can go past the, the other bike. Well, these two having a little battle of their own. Interestingly, both are in the battle for the overall championship standings, third and fourth overall. Amro Arif Musa, what's he done? Amro Arif is a long, long way down. So the championship leader is really struggling, Amro Arif. He's 49 seconds down, Amro Arif. So we could be seeing a significant moment in the championship race. Yeah, I think uh, Amiro's uh, Musa's bike may have a problem on the bike. It's not, he'll definitely be right in the in front there, with the front group. And we're also seeing Izad Zaidi not making an impression. He's two seconds down on the front guys currently in eighth places that Zaidi is second in the overall championship so this is not only a battle for the race it's also a battle to really try to get back in the overall championship standings yeah you can see Florianos uh, at the moment is third and uh, I think both of them the Malaysian and the Indonesian are really fighting all out to win this race it's that rarity in an underbone race a bit of a procession Waiwaji has led virtually from the start. Ahmed Fazli Sham goes on the inside, maybe making his little statement. Florianus, he joins into the race as well, the 33 year old Indonesian. In the dark racing suit, there's Ahmed Fazli Sham. Yeah, he had a slip there just now when he came up from the corner. You can see just now when uh, the, the, the first turn. Then now you can see both. The same team, uh, Florianos and uh, Wayu, then uh, Fasli and uh, Hazik. So four of them now trying to pull away from the, the rest. Indeed, Hazik has joined in the fun. 15-year-old will enjoy this little um, meeting with the, the seniors. Two different lines, Hazik and Florianos one side, Ahmed Fasli and uh, Wayu Aji on the other. Norisman's in the middle of that as well. Adib Rosley's joined in, so we've got a, a six-way battle as we approach the exact midpoint of this Underbone 130cc race 8 of 10 for the season race 2 of this weekend here in Delhi but you can see uh, Izzat still uh, right at the back there with uh, I think it's uh, Nazro I think Nazro Izzat right at the back there the back oh, right at the now. back yes yeah. Izzat Zaidi beginning to make a, a bit of a move which is important for Izzat Zaidi He's still half a second down though on the leading six is at Zaidi and he won't want to let them get too far away a reminder a win is 25 points 20 points for second 16 for third 13 11 10 and then downwards from there so positions do make a big difference in championship standings yes I mean definitely all these points are so important to go to the last round in Buriram but uh, to me it looks like uh, is that is that Zaidi is having some problem with the machine or something like that well, he's two seconds down. That's uh, Florianus currently in second behind Waiwaji. Trailing behind him, you've got Hazik and Ahmed Fazli Sham. But these six pulling away, and Norisman Ishmael still in there. Bike 19, just at the tail of the pack of six. And capable of anything, Norisman Ishmael. Second last year in this Underbone 130cc. Fourth the two previous years. But the lead is still with Waiwaji Trilaksana. Ahead of his Indonesian teammate, Florianos Roy Briani. I think definitely you can see the, these six of them fighting for the champion, for the win here today. And uh, I mean, six of them, either one of them, like I say again, the last step and the last corner again. Settling up very nicely. Amral Arif Musa, one minute and 30 down. So the championship leader has got a problem here he'll be looking to complete the race to pick up points because yeah. individual points could be important but 
this is a bad afternoon for Admiral Arifusa. Definitely, I think uh, the setup of the bike, or maybe the bike must have been seized or something like that. Then uh, that's why he is not at with the top group there now. Waiwaji, red helmet, leads. Behind him, Florianus, Hazik also in there. Fazli Sham currently in fourth place. Norisman fifth. And hanging in there nicely is Adib Rosley. Let's have a little look further down after them. And I think you were quite right. Izad Zaidi is going backwards. Izat Zaidi and uh, Izat, uh, Nazrul Izat going backwards. This six really are pulling away. Yeah, at the moment, you can see them. Uh, these four are pacing themselves for the... For the last lap sprint? Yes. yes again. And the carnage in the final corner. <laughs> yes. Waiwaji will be wanting to avoid any trouble. Fazli Sham, of course, going for a weekend double. And for Fazli Sham, his season's form is really, really good. His last four races have included two victories and one second place, plus one did not finish in race number one in Central. And there he is, taking on the big rival, Waiwaji Chilaksana. Florianus behind. And putting your team manager's hat on, you'll be saying if you could get into their ears, don't get overexcited, just be in the right place going into the final corner. Wait for the last two corners, then try to do something, and try to overtake or you know, try to make a move. Ahmed Fazli Sham currently being pushed into third place, actually make that fourth because Hazik has gone on the inside and make that fifth because Adib Rosley's also gone in there as well. Why Aji Chilaksana has the lead. He'll be hoping for a little bit of um, countryman help from Florianus. Florianus second and Florianus a little bump there. Was that Ahmed Fazli Sham he's taken out? I think that is uh, Hazik. Hazik I think. Yeah, I think that is Hazik. So Ahmed Fazli Sham can go through into third. Hazik drops down to fourth. Yeah, you can see now you can see that uh, He's Florianos, uh, maybe he missed a gear or something like what happened to Fasli yesterday. Good avoiding action yeah, from I mean Hazik. It, yeah, but that is a very slow corner. That's a U-turn corner, you know. Waiwaji, at the end of the long straight, he's been able to pull maybe half a second lead. Hazik is back in contention. Adi Brosley in there. And Wayu leading the way, Floriana second. Ahmed Fazli Sham now up into second. Hazik follows Ahmed Fazli Sham. Fazli is a 34 year old veteran, Hazik a 15 year old junior. And following in the senior's footsteps. Yeah, he's trying all out to try to stay with uh, Fazli, but uh, definitely Fazli not letting Wayu to uh, go away. Eh? I mean, uh, to lead so much in front so I think definitely Fasli is trying all out now to catch him and uh, try to pass him in at the uh, last corner indeed we are approaching the latter stages of the last lap Ahmed Fasli Sham can he make a move here on Wayu Aji Chilaksana they whip around the sharp right and left they come to the top end as Fasli goes around the outside the sweeping right hand corner Ahmed Fazli Sham's momentum takes him into first place. Yeah, that, that's why I was like I say, the last two two corners. Now he's coming back. Why you? He's coming back for the last corner there. Why you took a good inside line? Fazli, a very but very tight line on the final corner. Why you? Aji beaten by Ahmed Fazli Sham. It's a double for Ahmed Fazli Sham ahead of Why you? Aji Chilaksana Hazik third, Florianus fourth. But what a last corner! from Ahmed Fazli Sham. Yeah, I think that one uh, just now was uh, Florianus that went wide. Wayu was uh, behind. I think uh, he's a bit smarter today. Then uh, he managed to get second place, Wayu, whatever it is. The points is important for them. The points are important, but Ahmed Fazli Sham makes it a double for him in Delhi. And he got that absolutely perfect on the last lap. Yes, like I say before, I you know the last two corners before, if I put my team manager head on, I will tell my riders, do it, the last two corners. 
Waiwaji second. Third, Hazik. Florianus fourth. Adi Brosley and Norisman completing the top six. Important points for Izzad Zaidi, who finishes seventh. Uh, Sassi completes the top ten. The Yamaha of Fariz Afiez on the Yamaha. Cal Vietnam picking up points once again. Always good to see the, the teenage Vietnamese picking up points. And Amaral Arif Musa, how important will that 13th place be at the end of the season? To the team manager, Yong Yin Ho, you know, on your left there. And uh, he did told me that they, they have found something to make the bike go quicker and, uh, and the way Fastly rode it. I mean, both of them clicked together. That's why they are fast now. Jan Dilato, the FIM Asia safety officer, handing out the prizes today. Just to tell you, it should have been the man on my right handing out the prizes here. <laughs> That's how close we are to the action at the, in the commentary box. But Ahmed Fazli Sham picking up that award and really rockets himself back into the championship standings. Three wins in the last five, back to back wins here in Delhi, mean that he moves to within three points of the overall championship lead. Team award to Uma Racing Yamaha Maju Motors. Row one and three. And Hazik, great potential in this 15 year old lad. Uh, he's still got a lot to learn to me. I mean, like, uh, he's still very fresh, and uh, definitely he needs uh, a lot of uh, training from uh, Fazli to really teach him and uh, tell him a lot of things. But a podium place for him suggests that he's listening to the lessons he's been given. Yeah, definitely. He, he, he has learned a lot I mean, since uh, he joined the Asia Road Racing. But uh, you can see he's very mature now in the domestic uh, national race. And in Buriram, and look how tight this is. 113 for Wayu Aji Chilaksana. Three points ahead of Ahmed Fazli Sham. Izad Zaidi still in there. He picked up points today, 107 points. Amral Arif Musa, 106. So just seven points separating one from four. Theoretically, Norisman and Nazwal Izzat are still in the race, but in reality, this is a battle between the three Yamahas and the Honda. Going further down the championship standings, and uh, well, Sassi picked up some points today. Always like to look out for the teenage Vietnamese. Um, uh, Cal Vietnam has got himself 16 points in the season, which is a, a decent effort for the Vietnamese on the Honda. 20th is Shaifal Isman, Isman, Isman Zamani.